Okay, so I have some clips. Okay? okay. So my version of preparing for this podcast is just like watching garbage until I find something funny. I so, do have other things that we can get to. Okay. First. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about me and then you and then me again? Because I have. Two I like things. that. It's alternating. Yeah, it's alternating. Yes. Yeah. Here at Boonch, we alternate. Um, yeah. <laughs> so Share let me know Boonch. what you think of this. I have two questions of about this. All right. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> um, I have very high opinions of that scene. Okay. So. Oh boy. <laughs> Do you feel blame? Are you mad? Uh, do you feel like Wolf's Kebab represented? Wait, is it? Is the sound on? Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, Let me restart it. Do you All feel right. blame? Are you mad? Uh, do you feel like Wolf's Kebab represented? Get friends, but you put you get get a remix to get 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 Google big big get for Kebab for the greatest Wolf's Kebab. So there's that, but there's another clip as well. Manson is sort of a showman, like when he tried to, as he puts it, take me to a higher level. Or when I again asked him to define his unique charm. What do you think it is about you that makes people want to be a part of whatever it is you're a part of? Everything I do is always brand new. I'm on the premise of reality. I walk a real, a, a real road. I'm a real person inside. I'm not a phony. I don't put on no airs. I say what I think. You see what I'm saying? Aren't and you I, putting on an air now? Aren't you putting on an air well, for it, me? When you, when, you, when you look it back, see if it's an air. See if where you get it. And someone sees it and goes by and they say, hey, how you doing? I say, pretty good. How you be? <laughs> okay so oh man i have two questions <laughs> yeah one is that hilarious yes yes okay that's question a, two <laughs> question two is is it offensive to find it hilarious because of what mm. charles manson is associated mm. with you know because we've talked you and i have talked a lot about like can you separate the art from the man specifically right. referencing more comedians and like artists like right. yeah but this is this is sort of along the same vein but it's a different flavor right it's like right. he, yeah, that's true. That's he true. had people killed and but now he's just crazy and we right. can watch that for our amusement is it bad to find that amusing slash hilarious <laughs> Well, first of all, I'd like to point out that I think he did say boonch in the first clip okay. at some point. If Hold we on. if we go back, we have there, to I, go back. It did sound to me. Okay, so where? You feel blame? Are you Hold mad? Uh, do you feel like wolves about right friends? Get friends, boonch, boonch, boonch. Right there. Yeah. Boonch, boonch, There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Boonch boys, boonch boys, boonch boys. This has got to be our new intro. A boonch boonch. A boonch boonch boonch. We should do a remix of Boonch Montana, but it's Boonch Boonch Montana. So thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, that was. We needed to. He said he mentioned us by name, so now can we find it hilarious? Right, right, exactly. My answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, but no, I mean it. it it's a, it's an interesting uh, predicament uh, one finds oneself in. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, I, I, I feel like doing something like I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of a good example. Like going to see bill cosby now like i know he's in jail but like if he wasn't in jail and he was doing a big the jail show, set or yeah or or even not like let's say he like did his time bill and, cosby live streamed from jail right right exactly yeah bill cosby twitch on jail um <laughs> twitch.tv so, slash slash oops <laughs> <laughs> slash pudding um <laughs> pudding. <laughs> No, it's about as far as my Bill Cosby impression will go. Um, anyway, 
just saying uh anyway he uh like i feel like he's obviously still alive i feel like the uh, i don't know i don't know how to feel about this i'll be honest like there there are there are things that i still am not sure about like i feel like because he's still alive and going to see a show and like paying him to do what he always did uh which he admittedly did very well is uh is i don't know it, it seems to me problematic Whereas, you know, the, the example I always think of is like Wagner, uh, playing Wagner. He was like the worst yeah. ever. Uh, <laughs> and like just wanted all the Jews to die. And so, but he's so good, you know, like it's really good music. And I feel like it's like a, a bit of the same with like Michael Jackson that people feel about that, where it's, he's not alive. He was really good at what he did. And you know the the art that he created uh and so there's uh, i do think and i at least hope that there's a morally right way to separate the art from the person um and i think in the case of charles manson like that's a like i i don't know i mean that seems fine again we're not we're not we're not uh we could even separate certain acts at that point you know like separate mm. that what he was doing in those clips yeah from all of the other stuff and i feel like it's okay i feel like we're not saying that we support his his doings see that's that's where i find the trouble because like um like yeah we're talking about three things you mentioned wagner and like bill cosby those are sort of one of them is dead but right. who was the worst? One of them right. was also the worst, but is alive right. and could possibly still be supported by your support, right. um, whereas Wagner can't. And then Charles Manson, pretty sure he's dead, right? I, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. But, like, you're not really supporting him in any way. So it's right. like, the with Wagner, he's not getting anything, so I, I think it's a lot easier to separate the art. It's a lot harder when the art is... Um, like it could support somebody like maybe a Louis CK as he's on sorry right. stuff like that right. um but the thing with Charles Manson is that laughing at him doesn't support him it's not about whether or not it supports him financially but it's like that level of craziness that gave us that hilarity right. likely led to his thoughts and possibly his actions right. so it's like can we find that hilarious without realizing that that might have led to his his like mental instability that caused right. him to do those murders? Follow up question to the question because I don't yeah. know how to answer your question. So <laughs> I'm boys, ask uh, question. Yeah, what is it? Where we More we alternate all the time? Okay, um, uh, More questions all the time. <laughs> um, I do you think? If if he hadn't done what he did, hmm. I feel at that point it would be certainly uh, uh, wrong to laugh at anyone with that much mental instability. Mm -hmm. So does the fact that he did such horrible things excuse – or not excuse, but, but allow for – uh, us to find humor in his mental illness because if that was just some person with with whatever you know was going on in his brain but he didn't like kill people it's it would seem very wrong to be laughing at that person i totally uh, agree yeah, yeah if you saw that person like outside of your office building or whatever you would... right right yeah yeah i think that <sighs> in some sick way the e the evil things that he did allowed for us to be able to it's not even so much that it is hilarious like he's not trying to be hilarious we're laughing at right. it we're laughing at him like right. actually we're not we're laughing not, with him yeah. yeah he's not he's not laughing up there being like you get it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he was just so ahead of his time yeah um so i guess i guess in that sense because he murdered um or led to the murder of those people that he earned a space where he doesn't deserve respect in any sort of way. So we're not 
yeah i guess that's that's where i was having trouble because it's like whenever i laugh at something i sometimes i don't know sometimes i don't want to think of myself as making fun of something i just i usually like i'm like that is funny like right. e whether or not they also think it's funny it's like that can be funny right i'm not trying right. to make fun it just is funny like yeah. somebody slipping i'm not like haha you suck it's like that can be funny like right then you punch your dog or something yeah um so <laughs> it's like uh but in that sense it i can see that i'm laughing to make fun of how crazy it is right but but again it's just sort of its own category of you know yeah because then another question mm. boonch boys another question um <laughs> <laughs> um would you laugh at something like that if there was something like that but it was a more modern tragedy um maybe on the same level um like i don't know what's that guy that shot those black lives matter protesters like in july uh, or something uh yeah the guy in kenosha yeah yeah like if he did that we would likely not find it hilarious or True. somebody um who did something much worse albeit a long time ago yeah um like yeah, I don't know if... I feel like th there's a good number of uh, John Wilkes Booth jokes now, and everybody's mm. pretty cool with it, you know? Yeah, I mean... Again, not he... that he was, like... I don't know, not the craziness part of it, but, like, jokes about Lincoln's assassination, but I, I do think you're right, like, there's a timing aspect of it as well. Mm. It's like, you know, when people say it's too soon. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. <sighs> Well, I'm glad we. I'm glad you heard it here first. We said. Yeah. <laughs> we he said Boonch first. <laughs> yeah. Let's give credit where credit is due. New York Times Boonch strikes first, buries <laughs> the hatchet.